hear them? There must be a quadrillion flies out here. There's stuff buried everywhere. I grew up down in Grand Isle and uh, started seeing all these reports um, and the island just didn't look normal. It didn't look like it normally does. And um, we immediately went to the west end of the island because at that time there was a lot of workers and stuff down there. So they were keeping it real manicured because I think that the, they found an island that was small enough to where they could secure the perimeter and um, make look like however they needed to at the time. But things just didn't look normal. Um, and everything looked graded like a machine had graded it over and everything. So I, um, I started thinking and I was like, I know all the people down in Grand Isle and the locals that are working for BP or whoever they were working for because nobody wanted to admit who they were working for at that time. The locals, at the end of the day, if they have anything left to do and don't want to do it, they're going to throw whatever it is in the marsh grass. So um, I told my friend Andy, he's from New York, I said, let's go look up in there. And he's like, why? I was like, let's just go look up there. We got about 10 feet away from it. And the stench coming from there was unbelievable. Oil on the fish's head. Uh, that's telling what else is in here. Um, we found about 15, 16 bull redfish covered in oil, um, a decapitated dolphin, a mound that stunk so bad we couldn't even dig into it. In all the years I spent in my youth in Grand Isle, um, camping on Elmer's Island from the time I was four years old, um, shrimping, uh, spending entire summers down there, winters, I had never ever seen anything like that in my entire life. When there are that many large sea creatures that show up dead on a beach and it doesn't happen naturally, that, I mean, I didn't hear one peep on the news about that at all. I don't know what it is, okay? Um, I know there's an oil company, I know there's a lot of money, and I know there's a lot of lying. Uh, one fine day we'll find out though, I'm sure.